We've started winding down on this episode. In this series where we're talking about discovering your purpose by the way of your heart. The heart is a very critical component of life. Matters related to life are transacted from the heart. I kid you not. And there are those ones who have attuned themselves to listen to the heart and to follow through. And then there are those ones who have uh, wanted to make sure that they measure everything. They contribute to, I mean, they quantify everything and they analyze everything before they get started. And we've realized what Einstein told us, that not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. Things that cannot be counted, most of them, they emanate from the heart. That's why sometimes we talk about, we talk about instinct. We talk about the sixth sense, the extra sense, you know, we talk about intuition and so on. And therefore, the heart is something that we need to listen to. But we are saying, what are some of these things that will make us not listen to the heart? And uh, at the end of the day, how can we analyze that or how can we turn that around? What, what can we arm ourselves with? What kind of knowledge can we arm ourselves with even as we're making decisions concerning the heart in our purpose pursuit? Let us look at one more in this episode today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The prophet Jeremiah in the Bible, he tells something very powerful and very interesting about the heart. He says, the heart is deceitful above all and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Whoa. I mean, whoa. Imagine that. The heart is, dis- the, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? That's one of the ways of looking at the heart. And by the way, you can look at the heart from that angle and then you can say, I don't trust anything that comes from the heart and I just... Then you realize later on, I think it's David. In Psalms, he says that, guard your heart with all due diligence because issues of life, issues of life, they flow from the heart. Come to think about that, by, by the way, for a minute. If you can't trust your heart, if your heart is desperately wicked and you can't trust it, how do you do life? Uh, how do you do life if you cannot trust your heart? Especially if your heart is right and if you've guided it. How can you do life without the heart? Let us agree that there are some things in life that are communicated to us by the way of the heart. Some of those things are very important. Things dealing with passion things that matter to us. They matter to us not in the head. They matter to us in the heart. Sometimes we leave a well-paying job and go and do something else because the heart is the one that is leading, not the head. So the heart has a big part to play in our lives and in our decision-making and the way we conduct ourselves in this earth. So even as we are deciding to lean into our hearts and to follow through, and pursue our purpose. There are some things that I've said we need to be aware of. When the heart speaks, for the most part, it doesn't reconcile with what the head is saying. What did we say about the heart? The heart is interested in the what and the why. The head is interested in the how. In the realm of making it done, that's where the head comes in. 
if you run to the head too early you will fail to listen to what the heart is saying because the head is full of calculations and the head by the way doesn't calculate with anything you do not have the head calculates with the networks that you have with the money that you have with the resources that you have that's where the head is limited in its calculation but the heart doesn't have a limitation in the calculations the heart just knows this universities need to be built that's where the dreaming the desiring comes comes from just that that's what the heart knows the head is like you don't have even $20 in your account how are you going to build universities that's the head speaking now so we say that when the heart speaks number one, you might not have all the resources that you needed you need to understand that and if that is the case it doesn't mean that what the heart has said is incorrect that's number one. number two, you might not know the full extent of the purpose as of now when the heart speaks when the heart told uh, td jakes to write to man thou lust he did not know it was going to be rejected by the traditional publishing houses he did not know that it's going to cost him all his savings through self publishing he did not know that he's going to become a best seller he did not know that he's going to become a conference a yearly conference gathering very many thousands tens of thousands of women in one place he did not know that he's going to be a movie when the heart speaks you don't know the extent but the heart has an idea of where you're going therefore you need to listen the fact that you do not know the full extent the full measure of how it's going to pan out doesn't mean that it is invalid but today number 3 why should you listen to your heart you should listen to your heart and you should know that the heart is going to speak you should know that the heart is going to speak but you might not be the only one that will be used to bring respite probably you're just the vision bearer When I talk about vision bearer the first person that come to my mind is a man called Gary Skinner. Through Gary Skinner there are very many mothers who are taking care of orphans who have been taken up in Watoto child care ministries in Uganda. Over 4000 kids have been taken care of and by the way when they are taken care of it is guaranteed that they are going to be schooled all the way up to university and when Gary Skinner got this vision when the heart communicated to him and of course when i said the heart communicated to me Gary will tell you god spoke to my heart and said do this this and this for the children he might not be the only one that will be used to bring respite to those 4000 kids plus there are very many other people that are involved therefore when your heart speaks it is not telling you that i am burdening you with this and you do it all alone the heart is telling you you have downloaded a vision you are the one who's going to champion it but you're going to need champions you're going to need vision bearers you're going to need armor bearers you're going to need helpers you're going to need disciples you're going to need partners you're going to need help you're going to need strangers as well as friends to help you with that vision i've learned that purpose is seldom fulfilled alone in fact this is the worst mistake we ever make in life trying to do things all by ourselves trying to become the the pastor the interpreter the guitarist the soloist the intercessor everything we want to be the go to person for everything that's not how we are designed when your heart downloads purpose you should know you might not be the only one that will be used to bring respite and like i said it starts in the invisible and seen world that invisible and seen spiritual world the divine world it orders purpose by subtly linking people connecting people connecting events and even the most unconnected of things to bring purpose alive you don't see things being connected but the divine is connecting them and it's connecting using your heart 
That's why you feel the way you feel about something even though it cannot be explained, it cannot be analyzed, it cannot be quantified, it cannot be seen to the full extent of its being like we said yesterday, but you're being connected to other things, to other people, to other individuals. That's how it works. And as you respond to the situation at hand, you will soon realize that there are other forces, there are other players. You will not know this until you get started. There are other players, other people, or even favorable events that will cause people or cause purpose to come to full circle, to come to your aid. And believe me, when it is said and done, you will know this fact. You could never have done it alone. Never. But you see, you will not know the extent of doing it with other people unless you have accepted what the heart has told you and you've leaned into it and you've started practicing. You've started going. The heart tells you, pick that guitar and learn to play guitar. Towards what end? You don't know. And sometimes these things is about the, the gifts and the talents that you have. The heart tells you, you are talented in speaking. Why don't you pick the microphone and start speaking in the mirror? You don't know where that connection is going to come from you have no idea but you see you are not the only one your business your part and your responsibility is to answer the call that is in the heart and be faithful with it that's when connections start coming that's when you start seeing things open up that's when you see frontiers being opened up that's when you see people coming to your aid that's when you see connections and much more wisdom and events and things connecting to make that purpose to be fruitful at the end of the day. Tomorrow, we will look at one more, even as we've started winding down these episodes. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.